What's going on guys? Carlos back here with another video for Back Road Garage and today I'm finally introducing you guys to the 350Z of the channel. There's a pretty good amount done to this car and more to come. Um, today we actually are going to do some light stuff. LEDs in the rear, LED reverse lights and LED uh, license plate lights. But I am going to show you guys pretty much everything that's done to the car and plans for the future pretty much it is wet right now because it's absolutely pouring over here and today was my only day to do this so i'm gonna show you guys the best that i can so we'll start in the front taking this out i'll start with the minor modifications that are done to the car uh performance wise not much but you pop the hood there's an in-gen intake on this the long one that goes down to the front bumper besides that under the hood I have the ported uh, intake manifolds, and besides that, everything else under the hood is stock. I do also have a uh, full cap back in video. That was the first thing I did to the car about two years ago now, along with a, Me a Megan Racing uh, Y pipe. And besides that, for modifications, for performance, if you want to count the brakes, you can. They're upgraded, drilled, and slotted off of R1 Concepts. Check them out. They're amazing quality for a great price. Uh, to go to the cosmetics, obviously there's a lot. Um, starting in the front, you have the carbon fiber hood, which is from Saibon. Uh, Jeff underscore 350Z on Instagram, he is from California. He hooked me up with this. Pretty good deal, honestly. Uh, the front bumper is KBD. It's the Nismo style. Um, bad lighting on this side, but with, it's with the big black front lip. And then obviously the rest is wrapped. It does have the side vents on the side that do not work. I put plastics in there so water wouldn't get all up in the electric of the lighting. Also have black eyelids. Just went with black. Didn't do carbon and didn't do tints. Just went straight black. Besides that, for the front, the only other thing I would say is the wheels. It's the Varstone wheels. Um, also, upgraded lug nuts, Mishimoto. And for the tires, we went with Firehawk Indy 500s. Uh, they're a tire that I honestly would say is slept on. Besides, obviously, like Michelin's or Toyo Proxies, I would say best bang for your buck. I think I spent, I want to say, about $800 for all four tires. So the rear is uh, $285, and the front is $255, and then obviously they're $18. So um, other than that, aftermarket door handles, black. Those were uh, Amazon Special, and these were painted. Also, the mud flaps were painted. I wrapped the car last year. It's been about a year and a half almost now. I wrapped it with Western Mass wrapped and uh, I got the actual vinyl from uh, Peak Graphics and Enfield. Western Mass wrapped did the wrapping and uh, Peak Graphics got me the wrap for a good deal. Uh, coming around to the back, I have Street, Hunter De uh, Street Designs that did this from California as well. Great guy, that's his company. He uh, always hooks me up. I actually had a problem with these and he uh, didn't hesitate to fix it. Let's just say that. Um, going to the back, I also have a Drift Dial-X uh, duckbill. This was a pain to put on, to say the least. The fitment, I would give it like an eight out of 10. It's great fitment all around except the front. The front, I did fill it with like a black Bondo just to make it for the air not to get underneath it but you can see right there it doesn't look too good up close but from far it looks fine and it does a job coming around the back you also have the diffuser which is one of my favorite uh parts of the car i was actually uh very scared to do it in the beginning because i thought it would just be too much because you know the car's not wide bodied or anything like that but it actually came out really good also in the back i chose to do a concept z carbon fiber uh license plate frame it goes underneath it kind of covers all the crazy aggressive uh, lines that the Z do does have that over time it does crack so also on the bumper right here you can't really see maybe a little bit you see like some angel cracks so because the Z has su such aggressive curves you can see that that does happen sometimes but besides that for the exterior the only other thing obviously is the wrap this car originally was a silver I forget the exact paint code but you can see it right there just a normal silver and now it is uh, Avery Dennison Rising Sun, and it's a satin one. It's not the matte and it's not the gloss. I went with satin. The gloss one for me was way too shiny, 
So uh, the satin one kind of gives it a good look. I really do like it. There you go. So going on to the inside, not much is done. Minor things, I guess you can say. First thing that you'll see are the Nismo carpets. And the next thing would be just this. I did this whole thing recently. It's a bride boot with a carbon fiber uh, shift knob. And shout out to TJ Hunt, just his uh, keychain on here. Along with LED lights. And besides that, the radio's junk. I have aftermarket pedals. I'll get on the other side so you can see that better. But besides that, I'll talk to you guys now real quick about what we are doing to this car. Hopefully this year, into next year, if not by the summertime, we will definitely be going on to it. Uh, we are swapping this car. We're going to be putting an LS in it. And it's going to be a 6.0. So basically... It's going to be fully done by uh, JRB Performance and Customs in uh, Massachusetts, where I live. One of my buddies from high school, he has a shop now. He does great. And he's been doing a lot of swaps and a lot of other things. So, you know, he's taking me under his wing and we're going to kind of do that there. So we're aiming for a NA build, not going to be boosted. It's going to be a straight 6.0. It's going to run it all the way to the back. I'm going to do the LOJ conversions kit for exhaust and obviously motor mounts and all that. So we are looking to start that hopefully in the next maybe one to two months max. I would say three months. I'll be buying parts for it and then going from there. We do already have the block. So that's obviously not the expensive part. You can get an LS block for between five to seven fifty around here. But we do have it. It's at his shop already. We just have to, you know, get the motor mounts, get all the transmission mounts, maybe get a transmission, get headers, get exhaust. And obviously all the internal work, the motor still does have to go to the machine shop and get fully done. Just going to, you know, make it a little bit better and more reliable than what it already is. But that is pretty much the main focus of this Z. As you can tell, everything else is pretty much done. The car does have about 145,000 miles. So it does have miles. But one good thing about this car, it does not have any rust. Out of 10, I'd say maybe a 2 out of 10 for rust. Barely anything. And it is an 03, and I know it's not the HR, it is the DE, but I don't really care because that's why we're swapping it. That was my original plan when I bought the car. I bought the car back in 2018, so I've had it for about two and a half years now, and I've had no problems. Thank God for now, but we'll see, obviously. But like I said, 6.0 swap coming this year into next year, hopefully be done. I was talking to JR, which is the owner of JRB uh, Performance and Customs, and he said maybe two months once we start it, you know, cause obviously parts are gonna be coming in and coming out. So obviously it's gonna take some time with that. And he is busy besides obviously work for me. So it will be good, but definitely check him out. JRB Performance and Customs, either on Instagram or Facebook. Tell him that me or Tim sent you, Carlos Cruz, and he'll definitely hook you guys up. He does anything from swaps to anything with trucks. Uh, also does a lot of rust restoration and um, does lift kits and all that for trucks, but also does a lot of car things. He has a Z of his own that you can definitely check out. It is also LS swapped, but the good thing about his is it is boosted. So yeah, we're aiming for around 500 horsepower. I say that that's a low number, but obviously it's not, but it's reliable for an LS. So besides that, I'll give you one more walk around of the car. Like I said, one more time, it's a 2003 350Z DE. We'll be motor swapping it. Nothing's really done performance-wise besides the intake, exhaust, and pretty much that's about it. No headers are done on this car. It is loud enough for my liking. Obviously, the LS will be a different story. But as you can see, that's pretty much it for this car. I've had it for about two and a half years, and I'm very excited to do the swap. So this is the intro video for the Z, and you're also going to be seeing Tim's Mustang on the channel. He has a 2019 Mustang GT. We've just done a bunch of installs for that car, and you will all see that very soon. So that being said, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.